Hey, so in this video, let's take a look at what does it take to create kind of a low wireframe uh, resolution, uh, like a video, like a game model, right? For um, for something that's really dense. So, for example, um, here I am in ZBrush, and I made this uh, alien head for a character, and right now this model is 3.3 million points. So if I turn my wireframe, you can see that's really really dense. Obviously. This could not be used in a game engine. So my goal is to create a low resolution, but I really want to keep all of this uh, detail that I sculpted. So how do I do that? So in order for me to do that, what I need to do is actually create a uh, low poly version, right? Which then I can use in Substance Painter and export this out as an like an OBJ file and then bake all this detail into the low uh, resolution, right? So the first step that I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the decimation master and press this button here, pre-process current. Once it's done pre-processing, I can press um, this button here and it says decimate current at 20%. So I already have done that and the result is this, which looks exactly the same but if you look up here, you can see the difference. Um, this time it has 669,000 uh, points, which is better than 3 million, but still this is way uh, too much. So obviously I can't use this in the game engine either. But what I am going to do is I'm going to take this and export it out as an OBJ file into Maya where I can manually create or retopologize my model the way I like it. So let's jump into Maya and take a look. All right, so here I am in Maya, and I already started the process, and it's kind of a, you know, it's tedious, it takes a lot of time, but I wanted to show you uh, maybe someone out there uh, is going through the same process, and they need to create like a low um, poly version. So my goal is, so I imported this uh, high poly one, which is was 600 points, right? It's right there, and that's this guy here. You can see he's really really uh, dense model. I isolate him so you can just look at him only. So here he is. So he looks exactly the same, but incredibly dense, right? So now what I'm going to do is I, I click on the model once I imported it, and I'm going to click on this button here, make selected object live, this little magnet. All right, so now um, if I select the part that I already did and click on this button here, um, you can see that I'm starting to kind of lay over a manual uh, low poly version of this, but I want to show you the process because it's um, it was it's kind of uh, fun to do. If you just put on some music and can just kind of zone out, you can just sit here and uh, do this manually. And the reason you want to do it manually is because if you try to do it, if you have ZBrush uh, generate a low poly wireframe, it will never uh, look. Uh, this good because you really want to manually lay down points, especially for something like uh, a head of the character where you just have so much detail. You know, uh, ZBrush or any other program, it's not going to be able to create all this detail in the proper manner, uh, especially something more complex like this ear. So, for example, let's start with the ear. So, let's say um, I want to start creating the low poly wireframe. What I'm going to do is again, I'm going to click on this button. And then once I lay down four points, right, I can hold on the shift key and begin to, and I also want to make sure that my um, symmetry is on. So it's doing it on both sides, right? So now what I do is I just keep laying down points like this. And then holding down the shift key, just create the geometry as you like it. Now, the cool thing about this is that then you can hover over them, move them around and place them just perfectly. So it's, again, it's very tedious, but it's kind of fun if you just, again, just zone out and just um, do the work because the end result is going to be much better than something auto-generated. All right. And another thing I wanted to point out, if you go to modeling toolkit here um, on the bottom, you actually have a cheat, li cheat list uh, right here, keyboard, mouse, shortcuts that gives you all the shortcuts that you could be using. So for example, um, I, call, I can hold on the tab key, I can grab this edge and just pull this out, 
and just kind of spread it around. So that's uh, really cool. And again, just very patiently going over each piece. I obviously am not going to do the whole uh, head in this video. That would take way too long. But I just want to kind of show you the, the actual process and what it takes to uh, create something that's appealing and good looking. All right. So once I uh, go through this and finish, here I'll do one more edge just so I can show you guys. So I'm going to hold on the tab key and just kind of stretch this out. Let's do something a little more complex. And then if you zoom in, you'll be able to kind of simplify the process. Hold on tap key, maybe stretch this out. And again, hold on the shift key. And then just go between uh, holding on the shift key and just holding tap just to uh, pull this out. So th that's pretty much all I do all the way until it, I wrap the whole head around. So that's what it takes, okay? So once I finish it and um, the wireframe will be complete, I will then do my uh, UVs and bring the low resolution head into uh, Substance Painter and then use the high one to bake the detail in. So once um, I do that, it's gonna look just as good as the high version one, but it will be like this really cool low poly version. So I hope this helps and I could do more uh, detailed video on this, but I just want to kind of give you a general uh, overview of what um, I do and what my process is to create uh, kind of detailed uh, characters, but uh, keep them game engine uh, friendly. All right, thanks for watching.